Je m'appelle Tamara. Nice to meet you. Enchanté de te connaître. First and foremost, I understand that you're a reggae singer in France. What led you to be in the music industry? Well, I think reggae music put me in the reggae, you know, put me in the reggae, uh, music industry, you know. When I was young, I was listening to a lot of music, but when I discovered the music of Bob Marley when, when I was 14, it changed my life totally. And this is the music that gave me the desire to write my song by my own and learn music. But I did it by myself, you know, so I learned by myself and then I made musicians things. <laughs> and, uh, well, a few years ago, you know, it was like a dream to come in Jamaica because as a young kid growing up with uh, Bob Marley and this kind of music, you know, it was I was in love with the culture of Jamaica and thing. So, yeah, I came here and also changed my life because the perception of music and the way I work with the people here recording my album here with legends like Slide on Bar and things and people like them it was amazing yeah. so how popular is uh, reggae music in France because I'm sure not many people out here or in Jamaica may know well reggae music is huge huge really we have plenty plenty festivals you know, during the summer we have venues that you know um, I have a lot of reggae bands and artists coming every every year, you know, all along the year. But festivals are big, you know, we have like, I think we have almost 50 reggae festivals in France. Really? Like that. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is huge. It's the second market after the US for reggae music. Wow. So it's a, yeah, yeah. We love, we love reggae and we love Jamaica, you know. If you're Jamaican, come to France, you're welcome because we love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make it. So, I mean, you said that you, you know, the sounds of Bob Marley um, inspired you to do music. Who else did you take your musical oh, inspiration lot, you from? Know, it was first Bob Marley, but after that, you know, when I discovered the, the wall of his album, I, and it's more than than that, you know, so I went to Gladiators, you know, mm -hmm. Steel Pulse and Greg Isaac, Dennis Brown. All the roots reggae artists from the 70s, you know, and 80s also. And um, but yeah, roots reggae music from the 70s, you know, influenced me a lot. That's what I love. That I love the music with the message and consciousness, and you know that, you know, yeah, uplift the people and positive, you know.